This is the future. Before we begin this video, I would like to remind you that I am giving away a free 300 platinum to one lucky winner. This is open to all platforms, and to enter, just simply check out the link at the video description below after watching this guide. Now, when we talk about Mesa, we often talk about this Warframe being an absolute aimbot with her peacemaker ability. The build we always use involves her regulator pistols, and honestly, it's kind of boring using the same meta build over and over again. But what if I tell you there's another build that you can use and have some dumb fun with Mesa right now? Not just in normal levels, or not just a meme build, but an actual reliable build for Steel Path to endgame levels. I give you, the Burlistic Mesa. Last September 2022, Pablo announced changes on Mesa's Ballistic Battery skill. Honestly, I am one of those players who ignored these changes as I am a big Peacemaker meta fan, and most of my builds involve using her pistols. I even decided to pursue Red Crit Mesa with the help of the Red Arch and Shards that grants critical chance on secondary, and this even made her Peacemaker busted. This gave more gap to other Mesa builds, and I was so focused on just one meta build alone. However, it proved to be a bad decision in just ignoring the new and improved ballistic battery, since it actually does make Mesa completely broken right now with a specific build setup. To be brief, the summary of the changes for the ballistic battery skill are as follows. First, activating ballistic battery is now a one-handed action, so it can be performed while moving and shooting. Then, the damage cap increased from 1600 to 5000 which is affected by ability strength. And lastly, the Ballistic Bull's Eye Augment changed from status chance to final crit damage, explained as, crit that applies after mods. It doesn't apply to just the base, it applies to the final amount and it's 50% extra damage which is kind of insane. With the build I'm using with my Mesa, I can gain about 309% damage buff on my weapons, and then 154% critical chance buff when I have the Ballistic Bull's Eye Augment equipped. This makes almost all hybrid weapons in the game super deadly with a Burlistic Mesa build and here's the most overpowered part, it works pretty well with AoE Nuka weapons, just like the Kuva Brahma. As you can see in your screen, the Brahma gets red crit when I have the buff from the Burlistic ability, and it doesn't send damage to targets. The key to doing this is to activate first your Ballistic battery and every hit you made will then charge up the ability. After getting 100% charge, press the ability again to get the buff. Rinse and repeat the process. The good thing about this is not only does it makes Mesa super busted in terms of damage, but the setup I have for her makes her extra tanky that you can even use this in endgame or level cap levels. So, the build I have for my Mesa Prime is as follows. Arcane Avenger completes the red crit for my Kuva Branmo but, most of the time, it's not activated by simply letting the enemies hit my Mesa as I am also using the shield gating exploit for this build on top of the damage reduction from shatter shield and adaptation. Not to mention that I also got gloom in this for more survivability. The idea is, to use a secondary weapon as stat stick to put two organ mods, and then abuse the shield gating mechanic when you cast Mesa abilities. Every time you cast an ability, you can shield and with blind rage, you can have over shield most of the time with this. As a result, shield gating will be available most of the time, if you also equip the decaying dragon key of course to lower your shield values. Remember, the lower the shield value, the more you can get max or even over shield, which gives you that one second invulnerability every time those shield values drop to zero. Since shield gating is present, I added combat discipline to constantly proc arcane avenger and to maintain my health values, I decided to put gloom to replace the peacemaker ability. With this build, you will have the full 95% damage reduction from shatter shield plus the adaption buff and the gloom health steal. On top of that, you have shield gating to further boost your survivability. And lastly, you will have tons of damage buff, not only coming from Ballistic Battery and its Augment, but as well as some decent damage bonus from your shooting gallery. This build will help you step away from the Peacemaker meta, and it gives a new meaning to playing Mesa. The best part is, the Kuva Brahma is just one of many weapons you can use for this combo. Hell, you can even use melee weapons like Gun Blades or even the Glaive Prime with this combo. This totally is a new way to play Mesa and I highly recommend that you try it for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.